consumer surplus the consumer surplus is basically the difference between what consumer is willing to pay and what he actually pays for the commodity okay um see so you you have also you have already done demand is equal to supply okay and that will determine the equilibrium price fine see i haven't drawn this here but uh, supposedly in case of the demand supply function is somewhat like this uh huh supply function is somewhat like this and uh, this is the supply function which you have and this is this this downward sloping demand curve you have here and that determines this price p not and at this p not the amount of the quantity which is going to be demanded is say x not okay so the amount of the quantity which is going to be demanded is x not now you have to think that how much consumer is willing to pay and how much he is actually paying how much worth the consumer is how how, how much worth of uh, the utility or, or or what do you say the value which consumer is going to get from consuming these goods now let me just get away with this and ask myself now i have already fixed here that uh, p not is the price the equilibrium price by equating demand equal to supply and x not is the equilibrium quantity which is here how much is the first unit of commodity worth to the consumer this much say this much how much is the second unit of the commodity worth consumer say this much how much is the third unit of commodity is worth consumer this much fourth this much fifth this much and x not this much okay this entire region a d x not o or what i have written a o c d this region is basically the entire value which consumer is going to get okay from consuming these much units of commodity but how much he is actually trying how much how much he is paying for for consuming these commodities is just this much this rectangle p not d c o because in order to consume x not he is paying just p not so how much is the total expenditure he is making the total expenditure of just p not into x not hmm this is the total expenditure which he is making p not into x not is the total expenditure which he is making but actually he is uh, he is getting the he is getting this much of utility at least from consuming this okay um this is the area that is a d c o or a o c d is is the entire area uh of which consumer is getting value minus the amount which he is paying he is paying how much he is paying this much this much he is paying hmm he is paying this much now even if you reduce this green area from this red area this red area is more okay and this more red area is basically consumer surplus which he is going to get from consuming x not units of the commodity okay so this this triangle the area of this triangle abd is the area which is defining consumer surplus so you got the point the point is that you go into the market you have some demand function there is some supply function that gives you the equilibrium quantity for that equilibrium quantity there is some equilibrium price but that commodity might be worth more than that equilibrium price and you want to go, you want to know that how much is the surplus to you how much the surplus how how much there is a surplus as a consumer to you and that is given by this particular area now this is this this is given by p equal to fx kind of demand function okay now in case if you have uh, x is equal to fp kind of demand function then uh, then how do you define the consumer surplus the consumer surplus in that case is given by p not phi
FPDP. Okay. And in case if uh, demand curve X is equal to FP intersects price X is at P1, then in that case consumer surplus is given by P0 to P1. I am writing phi again. FP DP. Okay. So what what I am trying to say is that suppose you have this kind of demand function P is equal to 30 minus X. Hmm? This is one demand function. If you have this kind of a demand function, <clears throat> then this is the way you'll find out the consumer surplus. But supposedly if you have this kind of demand function, X is equal to um, 30 minus P. Okay. Then in this case, that is x is equal to the function of p then you will be using this either this or this kind of demand function uh, sorry consumer surplus formula now what about in perfect competition um, how, how, how do you calculate perfect com uh, consumer surplus in perfect competition this is the demand curve which you have this is the supply curve in perfect competition and this is an equilibrium point at this point x naught is the amount of equilibrium quantity and P0 is the amount of equilibrium price. So consumer surplus is given by this area. By the same logic which I've told you before, this is, this is the consumer surplus in perfect competition. Now in case of monopoly, in monopoly equilibrium is defined by the point where MC equal to MR, this is the AR curve, this is the MR curve, and at this point say x naught unit of quantities are demanded and at, at x naught price is given by this p naught and hence demand, uh, consumer surplus is given by this area as you could see consumer surplus in case of monopoly has reduced a lot as compared to the case in uh, in perfect competition okay now let us do one numerical example here that is supposedly if you have p equals to 30 minus x minus x square. This is the demand function p is equal to fx kind, fx kind of demand function which you have. And uh, you need to find out consumer surplus. Find consumer surplus when x is equal to 5. If you have this kind of question. Now let's draw this figure first. So you can write this as P minus 30 is equal to minus X square minus X or you can write this as minus common X square minus X plus 1 by 2 square and minus 1 by 2 square. So what I've done is I've just used uh, completing the square kind of property. So in case if you have ax square plus bx plus c and you want to add or subtract something in order to complete the square, what you do is that you add and subtract b by 2a. b by 2a square on both the sides. So here what is b? b is uh, b is uh, minus 1. Okay, sorry, minus b by 2a square minus 1 upon 2 into 1 whole square. So it is 1 by 2 whole square and you will be subtracting this also 1 by 2 whole square. So what you will be doing is that this 1 by 4 will get to this side. So it is P minus 30 plus 1 by 4 is equal to minus X plus 1 by 2 square. So you can write this as uh, That this is minus which I have taken here okay so it should be plus here I'm so sorry and going on here it should be minus here yeah so now you have P minus 121 by 4 is equal to minus X plus half square okay so this is uh, this is uh, x square is equal to minus 
ay kind of parabola which is a downward sloping parabola i'm much more concerned with the first quadrant only so how do you draw this i know this this is going to be a downward sloping parabola and uh, and when x is equal to 0 how much is the amount of uh, p when x is equal to 0 then p is equal to 30 you can just calculate this and uh, when p is equal to 0 when p is equal to 0 x is equal to plus minus See, when, when p is equal to 0, x is equal to plus 5, okay, and there will be, there'll be one more value of minus here, which we are just not, we, we are not including out here. So this would be somewhat like this. Okay, so it is 30 here and 5 here and so on. So, and you need to find out the value of consumer surplus when x is equal to 5 okay now when x is equal to 5 is 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 the value which you need to find out so this is the entire area is basically the consumer surplus this entire area is the consumer surplus so what you will do is that consumer surplus is basically given by integral of this demand function you actually didn't have to do all this but i've just told you this that is 30 minus x minus x square dx 0 to 5 so minus p naught x naught okay but when x is equal to 5 what is the value for p 0 so this will become 0 fine you just need to calculate this integral which is 30 x 30x <clears throat> minus x square by 2 minus x cube by 3 and you have to calculate these limits 0 to 5 and once you put in there what you will get 30 into 5 minus 25 by 2 minus 125 by 3 which once you will calculate this you will be getting something like 95.9 Okay, so this is the value of the consumer surplus for this particular demand function.